ran the, the infamous the gym in Minnesota, which all of us grew up on. And actually, we grew up on Ventura's gym. I started running Jesse Ventura's gym when I got out of high school in 1977. And uh, that's where Mike Hickstrand would come in. He was working at Marine Johnson, uh, Tool and Die in Northeast Minneapolis, and Rick Rue and all the guys would come in. And I felt so, and I remember going over to Jesse's house and Tyrell was, you know, just born and, uh, and I was the babysitter for Jesse and, uh, uh, and we were just, uh, he, he was, yeah, he was, it was a, fun place, but my buddy Jim Youngner, uh, who was uh, the inspiration at the gym, um, that, you know, the road wars and on and on and on, everybody went to the gym, and Jimmy Youngner now, uh, he's still around, Jimmy's a great guy, and Jimmy, I can't wait, we gotta have him on the show sometime, he could tell you stories nonstop about the, man, the Robinsdale. The Robinsdale yeah, crew. Because he's a Robinsdale dude. So, uh, and I know we might get tired of hearing about this Robinsdale stuff, but you know what? Um, uh, you know, uh, I always thought PBS, Channel 2, public, you know, uh, public television in, in Minnesota could, could do a really good special. Uh, you know, starting with Bern Gagne in 1943. Oh, history of Minnesota wrestling, and, yeah. And <coughs> besides Minnesota, but in particular, Robbins did. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, they would get in to the, they would, their big motive would be Kurt Henning dying, Louie dying, and uh, Mike Hickstrand. They would get into that, but that ain't a bad thing if you can use it to, to keep kids uh, straight and learn from, you know, uh, uh, getting too crazy into your lifestyle, you know.